Hey, welcome back everyone. Timothy Little, aka Tim the Gamer 13. Happy to be back with you here today. Today we're going to be doing a quick demonstration slash review of the iPega wireless Bluetooth controller. This thing right here, which is great for playing any Android game you can imagine on your tablet or your smartphone. It's great for playing, certainly great for you know playing games inside of emulators on your smartphone or tablet. Uh, and it also works great on PC as well if you want to have it you know, for, use it with your laptop or whatever, or any other Bluetooth device, really. So this is a great controller. As you see, it kind of reminds you of something, reminds you of, like, Xbox 360, only uh, compatible with Android devices. So really cool. The buttons are very identifiable. It's very easy to use. you got the D-pad here for more classic games, the joysticks for your Sony games, certainly for PS1, PSP, even Nintendo DS, etc. Whatever games you run on there, on your, on your devices, this is something you're going to want to have. So I'm going to go ahead and show off how to pair this, first of all, how to get this in pairing mode. And then I'm going to do screenshots. We're testing it on my Samsung Galaxy S4 today. And so you guys may have recalled seeing this in my other videos uh, that I've done. So I've recorded, you know, playing Sega Genesis games on the S4. Super cool. So always like doing that. So here's what we're, what we're going to do first. Is first, we're going to go ahead and put it into pairing mode. So if you look on the bottom of your device, there's a switch right there. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And then you, there's also, if you notice, right next to the main joystick over here, there's a home button. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and depress the home button along with the X button at the same time. So right now, if I hit the home button without X, it just blinks kind of slowly. However, if I depress them both at the same time, you'll notice that the lights will actually blink slightly faster. And so that's what you're going to want to do. Th this means basically that the device is in pairing mode. See? So now it's in pairing mode. Okay, so having just put your controller in pairing mode, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to the Bluetooth devices on your phone or tablet, and sure enough, there it is, the iPega Classic Gamepad showing up as a Bluetooth keyboard. Go ahead, tap that and let it pair. It'll take a, it'll take a, usually about five seconds to pair before you know it. And once it is, boom, you get this message. Bluetooth keyboard connected, exactly what you want. And now you have a new input device, guys. So now you can navigate your entire phone with this controller. And I really don't have any games on here installed yet because I actually had to just do an install, reinstall of the Android Lollipop software. However, I can navigate through all my apps. I can, you know, surf different pages on the phone. I can, if I wanted to, I could also use this with my web browser. I've confirmed that it works with the web browser quite well. So, yeah, basically what I'm doing now, what you see me doing with my thumb, I can do that, all that stuff, just with my controller. I'm going to go ahead and show that one last time here. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. So, again, this is very useful, very user-intuitive, and it's just really all-around awesome. So if you have a lot of games on your phone, this is definitely a must-have device. So go ahead and rate this video, please. We'll be putting up a few more Driver 2 reviews as well as some more GameCube reviews. So please go ahead feel free to check that out. I will also be putting up more Monster House footage, which was also on GameCube, in the next few days here. So please stay tuned. There's more great videos coming soon. So long.